Welcome to another Big Brother Niger Season 7 Level Up Gist segment. And without wasting much of your time, let's get right into the gist. You guys, Satan has entered former Trench's house and the fight between Adekule and Shex was so unimaginable. Like next level full on fight. <laughs> So they were having an argument and smart mouth shakes called him stupid. But if you look at it from this angle, we all know that the words stupid and shakes are like five and six in the house. And the reaction Adekule gave was just too extra. Like man was just showing off who he truly is. Like why did he take it to the extreme though? You called him stupid by saying he's not smart and educated. He said the same thing and you are flaring up. I have always believed that Adekule had hate for this Shex guy. Forget the fact that Shex has his own in his body too. And all this one Adekule was doing was just gra gra. Mm. Also, did you see the way Alison sat down like a steel rock? Isn't that a man fighting? Hmm. Fair women, no. Still on Shex, there are rumors about his life outside the house. Rumors have it that he is not the big boy he claims to be. And you know he's always like, do you know who I am outside the house and all of that. But rumors have it that he is owing people all over Lagos. And not just that, he used to physically abuse his ex-girlfriend. Hmm. Okay, oh. And I remember one time he was telling Bella not to believe anything they say about him outside the house. Is he stylishly saying that those rumors are true and wants to divert our attention from it? And the fact that he's a footballer and he's not in shape, bro, doesn't make sense. So my own here is, my own question, has Shex been lying all this while? Moving on, so during their task, the housemate had to profess their love for each other, should I say for the task. Everyone did well, but let's focus on Groovy and Amaka. In the next world and in this world, I'll always choose you. I will always choose you too. Just, Just like, like my Akufina. Amaka and Groovy won, hmm? but does that mean their love is genuine? Is Groovy faking it all with Fina? I mean, you could literally hear it in their voices, the passion their tone carried though. Hmm. And it's Fina acting jealous after the game, or was it really an act? Is she now going to be seeing Amaka as a threat? And even before all of that ended, did you see the awkward moment when Groovy went to hug Chomsey so tight and the next thing Antifina did was to drag him and kiss him? In my own opinion, eh, this Finag babe is doing too much and it is getting irritating. By the way, Khalid has come out to clear the air about the sex rumors in the house. I even have this feelings for him. My body is a temple. Just aggressive kissing. Yeah. I mean, we didn't forget the cameras. There you have it. Aggressive kissing was all Khalid and Daniela ever did. Now that kissing must be like World War II because, hmm. First of boss Katrina said her own was aggressive cuddling. This one is aggressive kissing. Maybe next year will be aggressive hugging. Who knows? And sir, please, how can you explain the duvet vibrating on its own? Hmm? Please let us know. And to round off this segment, in the history of Big Brother, Lady Diana of Paris became the first woman to ever send Biggie on an errand. Your diary session has come to an end. Thank you, Big Brother. Big Brother, just one question, please. Go ahead. Please, we don't have salt to cook. And what would you like Big Brother to do? To help us to go to the market to buy salt, please. Are you sending Big Brother on errands? No, sir. No. But just if you can help us to look for salt. Even Biggie shock. Biggie say you are sending me on an errand? This set of housemates, eh? They will make Biggie show his face by force by fire. Well, that's all I have for you on this Big Brother Night Judges segment. Until next time, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.